12 inmates that tried to escape from prison in Haiti were shot dead by the police. While you were shot dead after they tried to escape from the prison. People are saying that this was a plan from the gangs to make the 12 inmates to escape from prison so that they can plan on how they are going to tackle the residents in Haiti. This was a plan from the ground. That's what people are saying. This are confirmed news. It's not propaganda. It's something that has been confirmed that 12 inmates in Haiti have been shot dead after they were trying to escape from prison. The time that we were trying to escape from prison, they were shot dead. These are the six main reasons why we feel that the police in Haiti are going to be successful in this affairs with uh, Musalia Mudavadi and peers of foreign affairs. They have decided to come up with this event to maintain peace and unity between Kenya and Haiti. Hello guys, welcome once again, welcome once again. On today on international news, I'm alone, it's just a briefing on whatever that is happening. And today we want to talk about Haiti, the highlights on whatever that is happening in Haiti. You know very well the reason why we keep updating you guys stories about Haiti on whatever that is happening in Haiti is because us in Kenya, our Kenya police are in Haiti. You know very well, like right now, there are 600 soldiers in Haiti maintaining law and order in Haiti. They have done, they have done very important three things. They have done three things that are very, very important. The first thing was to rescue the port. The second thing was to rescue the biggest hospital in Haiti, in the capital city of Haiti. The third thing that they have done is to maintain law and order. They have restored peace in Haiti. That is the main three things that our Kenya police have been able to, da to do in Haiti. Now, this is the reason why we focus mostly on Haiti's story. We usually focus. Our soldiers, our Kenya police soldiers, there are so many Kenya police soldiers. In this episode, we don't talk about propaganda. Whatever we say, we have done a lot of research. We have done everything, a lot of information from the ground. That's the reason why after that, we come and update you on whatever that is happening currently. Yesterday, 12 inmates were shot dead in Haiti. 12 inmates that tried to escape from prison in Haiti were shot dead by the police. While you were shot dead after they tried to escape from the prison. People are saying that this was a plan from the gangs to make the 12 inmates to escape from prison so that they can plan on how they are going to tackle the residents in Haiti. This was a plan from the ground. That's what people are saying. This are confirmed news. It's not propaganda. It's something that has been confirmed that 12 inmates in Haiti have been shot dead after they were trying to escape from prison. The time that they were trying to escape from prison, they were shot dead. These are the six main reasons why we feel that the police in Haiti are going to be successful in this mission. The first reason why we are saying that is that the time that the police were going to Haiti. Barbecue decided to barbecue called for a dialogue between him and the prime minister. Barbecue wanted a dialogue. If Barbecue could not be scared, he could not be able to call for a dialogue with the prime minister. And the prime minister was not able to give in the demand of the gang leader. The reason why people insinuation say that Barbecue is the gang leader of is the gang leader in Haiti is because this guy is well known in Haiti. This guy is known so well in Haiti that the people are saying that this guy is a gang leader. But NB, note that Barbecue is a gang leader of only the G9. Haiti has got so many gangs. Like Boni said that Haiti has got like over 200 gangs. The breaking news on whatever that is happening in the media and whatever that is spreading and what happened in Haiti is that 12 inmates were shot dead after they tried to escape 
from prison. This is the third time that the inmates are trying to escape from prison in Haiti. The first one they managed after they were helped by barbecue to escape from prison. They escaped and went away and went to form a gang which is called the G9 to make this gang to be great. That's where a gang leader was shot dead known as Julma Ernest was shot that time dead after he was trying to escape from prison. This is the third time that the inmates are escaping from prison but this time the police were on a radar and they did their best to maintain law and order in Haiti. That's just a breaking news on whatever that has just happened to the ground. The 12 inmates who were trying to escape from prison are shot dead. It's just a breaking news. Let's continue. You know very well that next Saturday Kenya is hosting Haiti on a peace harmony event which is going to happen in Kenya. This is the first time collaboration between Haiti and Kenya. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that this thing is going to straighten the relationship between Haiti and Kenya or what is going to happen? Do you think this is a trap on the president is doing, is coming up with an event on how he can accommodate some of the Haiti residents in Kenya? What do you think is going to happen? This, do you think that this thing is nice to see that Kenya is hosting cultural day of Haiti in Kenya, which is going to happen this month on the 24th of August is going to happen. It was just a abruptly event that happened. It was planned last week and we had it that is going to happen on Saturday that Kenya is going to represent, uh, is going to represent, uh, is going to represent Haiti on a harmony, peace harmony. Kenyans are saying that are doing this to celebrate the Kenyans the Kenya police that are in Haiti, that are maintaining law and order in Haiti. So that is the reason why the government have decided to come up with this event. Collaboration of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with uh, Musalia Mudavadi and PS of Foreign Affairs, they have decided to come up with this event to maintain peace and unity between Kenya and Haiti. And something that has just happened right away is that the biggest musician in Kenya is going to perform in that event called Calligraph Jones is going to perform in that event. We are here to update you guys on whatever that is happening on the ground, on whatever that is happening between the relationship between Kenya and Haiti, what is going to happen. And Boni will be elaborating more about the relationship between Kenya and Haiti and breaking news. This is just a breaking news on whatever that has just happened. This is something that happened yesterday and we are just going to report and tell you that 12 inmates were shot dead in Haiti after they tried to escape from prison. That is just a breaking news and it's something that has just happened right away. Let's meet next time. I've been your host, Jeff Otieno. Until next time, game over.